Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your May mid-monthly reading. Um, thank you to all who have liked, shared, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, I do shuffle the cards off camera, but we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and we'll get started. Uh, head on over to my new website and you can book a reading there. Uh, so the website opens up to the main page at the top you'll see book online um, and then I'll take you to the next page and you'll see a drop down that starts with thought based approach and then you'll see the readings video readings phone readings um, and such um, I do have a $15 reading the special reading that I brought back it won't be on special that long I'm gonna close that down because I mean it's been a really good response but at the same time okay um it's been really uh you know it's a bit overwhelming anyhow uh, take advantage of the $15 reading all right so over the over there at the website all information is below in the description box so let's get started. We're going to do a five card advice spread. The first card is you right where you are. The second card is are you in your correct path? And the third card is what is the main obstacle? The fourth card is what is helping you? And the fifth is how can progress be made? Mm -hmm. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. All right. The Queen of Swords, right where you are. Nice. Are you on your correct path? Four of Pentacles. It seems like you're holding on to something. Or someone's trying to hold on to you. It, it might need to end. Or something needs to transform. Um, let's keep going. And what is the main obstacle? The Death card. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or something, like I said, something needs to end or transform. And what is helping you? The Eight of Swords. Well, I just heard the only reason why you're still here or what is helping you is because you feel mentally stuck. For some of you, it's that you are caged or jailed or... For some of you, you have a complete transformation in your life because something happened. Maybe an arrest, um, house arrest. So, somebody feels caged, stuck. I don't know. How can progress be made? The Ten of Swords, letting it in. Whatever this is, you have to, to go through the energy. You're the Eight of Swords. You need to let the Ten of Swords happen. An ending needs to happen. I think you spiritually know this with the hermit card here but you're holding on to what no longer serves you what needs to die I mean like we've got the queen of swords who cuts things out the death card the eight of swords and then the ten of swords I mean what are you holding on to let's see what are you holding on to we'll put the hermit there what is the four of pentacles all right the nine of wands you're holding on to a situation that is already burdensome that is already stressful that already may have problems you're evaluating do you want to go back in and you're still trying to hold on a lot of you are trying to hold on to status some of you may be married you may be high up in a position a career you're trying to hold on to something that just needs to end all right, what's the death card? What's the death card for Gemini? All right. Okay, three cards popped out. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to hold on to... Okay. Some, some of you are trying to have it both ways. You want your cake and you want to eat it too in a situation. Some of you are trying to hold on to 
status, whether it's marital status, relationship status, whatever, career and business. Because you're, you know, it, it makes you the nine of pentacles type of person. You know, you're financially set. You, some of you are trying to hold, okay, so it's so confusing. Some of you are trying to hold on to marital status, whatever type of status. It's fake. It's false. It's just it's not real but to the outward person looking in you know it may look like it's a good situation but you know that it's not a good situation or you're making it um not such a good situation because even in the midst of having this marital status or relationship status you're still acting single or you still feel single or you still run your life like a single person you might even be dating or have someone else but you won't walk away from either job or relationship because of what you've invested there or vice versa what this person has invested in you could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus you could be dealing with a Scorpio another air sign a fire sign I mean everybody's here on the table you you choose but it's like the both of you, whomever you're dealing with, if this is a relationship, you know that this is fake. And you guys have gotten so comfortable with this falsehood. You've got so content with it being fake. You know, you just, it's an outward appearance. You know, you're more concerned about that than being concerned about your own happiness your own growth your own path you've got so bogged down and then you feel stuck here what's the eight of swords what's the eight of swords this is crazy yeah the emperor some of you are dealing with a very demanding controlling type of energy they have might have put you in a place could be an aries they might have put you in a place where you know they control everything just because they know if you're given an ounce of freedom then you might be out or they they feel like they have to control you because of your past or past history Ooh, okay some of you six of swords yeah some of you some of you need to cut a situation out five of pentacles yeah you already feel left out in this situation. I mean, like, before I started the reading, I had like a whole bunch of energy. Now I just <laughs> I feel so depleted, and I think a lot of you feel depleted also. But that's because you're trying to hold on to something that is just dead and gone. This could be career. Yeah, four of cups. You, you're so bored in this situation. Um, you also know that. Uh, you're so bogged down and maybe a third party situation you won't choose yourself you won't choose your own path because of what this um, situation may provide for you what fell out of the deck is a hierophant and temperance some of you it's a long standing relationship a marriage a, a big corporate institution this could be a job situation for some of you um you need to find balance in in regards to this some of you are married to a sagittarius some of you just need to find balance in the midst king of cups at the bottom of the deck some of you with the cancer pisces scorpio all right hang on one second yeah five of cups there's no balance here because there's so much outward interference from from whomever but so much outward interference in the midst of an established relationship the cards are telling you work on yourself eight of pentacles 
put the energy the time effort into your craft whether this is um working on yourself to gain um, stability by way of career and finance self-employment i'm hearing or some of you is relationship you keep worrying about you know oh i've done this for so long and what if i walk away what i'm gonna leave with nothing or you know I, shit it's crazy i mean you okay so just some real advice um you have to weigh up the, the cost everything in life has a cost all right you, you pay the price um some people are going to pay literally you know money the pentacle monetary some people are paying in other ways some people may look at your situation and say oh it's just you know it looks so great you do this you go here you do that you you, you travel you whatever it, your life is so great but you know what this quote unquote great life what the cost is and it may be that you're crying yourself to sleep at night because you're with a partner who either cheats on you lies to you or would rather be with someone else um there's no mutual respect there's no regard for the relationship you you both hold secrets each other's secrets um in which it keeps you tied oh my gosh i just heard like some of you this is like real personal um for some of you you um you have an std uh or had an std or okay all right so it might not be curable but it's livable whatever that means um you're living with it um you and your partner share it and so that's what for some of you that's what's holding you there uh that's only part of it it's like you, you just feel completely trapped like you don't know anything else you don't know any better and you've got so content with just falsehood and fallacy just fakeness all together three cards of advice for a Gemini okay two flew out all right one more one more card of okay yeah five of cups that's what we had in the spread grief work motivation parental care right. some of you are parents you need to be a little bit more concerned with your parenting your or lack thereof or um or over parenting um and then it's vice versa some of you have elderly parents and you need to be a little bit more concerned about what's going on with your parents you know it's not all about you take a minute to pour energy back into uh, the lives mother and father or you know might have extended parents uh, step parents or whatever um, take some time to pour back into them you know or figure out what's going on with them Some of you have been uh, okay. Some of you have been very selfish. Um, only only thinking about yourself, not thinking about your parents who shaped and molded you to the person you are today, whether it's good or bad. You need to reciprocate. I just keep seeing somebody go back. Like you have to go, you have to go back. I don't know. Get a personal reading. Um, this motivation. Um, yeah, you gotta have the motivation to move forward on you know, something. Uh, for a lot of you, it's self-employment. The Nine of Pentacles there coming up. Um, 
So if you're thinking about self-employment, here it is. Get the motivation, whatever that means. Do the research. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Pour back into yourself, invest in yourself, in, into your craft, whatever, or your skill, whatever that may be, so that you can um, excel at self-employment. The best. Anyway, um, grief work. Some of you just need to go ahead. You're hesitating before making decisions. Make the decision to walk away, to choose yourself, leave it alone, whatever it may be. You know what it is. I don't. Um, grieve the process. A lot of us don't take time to do that. Bottom of the deck, healthcare change. That's what I was. I don't know, guys. That's what I was really like picking up for a probably a select few of you or whatever and it's very touching it's very personal um healthcare change get a second opinion either that's for parents or that's for you get a second opinion um yeah uh get a second third opinion you you can you can get through this you can live through this you can move forward Gemini take advantage of the $15 reading um, go over to the website book a, a I'm not even trying <laughs> this is crazy um I've never been prompted to even say that because I don't even like solicit like that. But um, yeah, some of you need like an hour reading, seriously. And if if you have the extra money to do so, and and you either get a reading with me or someone else, do that. Do it with someone you trust. Their energy and they'll give you some truth and clarity. Also, some of you might need some life coaching. I do have that over on my website. It's life coaching. Um, via the tarot so um, yeah in other measures too so take advantage of that Gemini whoo, 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 heavy energy um, I'm praying for you pray for me as well thank you for always tuning in the, you know there's some good here you know um, I paint on this table so I'm um, some of you are really contemplating a new career in self-employment and it looks really good. So there's a silver lining in that reading. All right, Gemini, I'm out. See you in June. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.